We are back for another whatever this is. Yeah, whatever I think this is for actually to review whatever this is. This, yeah. <laughs> this is Inns and Guns Original. Uh, it is a handcrafted Scottish beer, oak aged beer. Um, it is apparently, according to the bottle, carefully matured for 77 days prior to release. And then approved for bottling, and we have two signatures on here from the uh, master brewers yeah. of the company. So I'm guessing they hand sign or hand uh, test each and every single one of the batches before it goes out, which is a good sign if that is actually and not just some marketing ploy. Not saying that that's what they're doing, just. A quick worry of mine. No, there's no sediment at the bottom of these glasses. I checked. Not at all. Which is cool. Um, this is a product of Scotland. It's imported by the Innocent Gun um, USA out of uh, New York. Um, yeah, its master company is out of Edinburgh. And uh, the last thing it uh, contains barley malt. So love I'm Edinburgh. By highly way. anticipating tasting it. Um, as someone who's swallowed copious amounts of oak sawdust over the years uh, for various projects, um, highly anticipating what this tastes yeah, like. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's got a nice, quick little blurb as a uh, descriptor for flavor, and I think the last beer we did didn't, and that was a little off putting to us. The El Kukui. El Kukui. Yes. Which we got corrected on the pronunciation because we're both white and have no idea how to. <laughs> speak a lick of Spanish really to save our lives um, so while that one didn't have any description this one does and this one even tells us at what temperatures to serve at no uh, no glass description as to what it needs to be in but I went with the British pint as this is a Scottish beer and I feel that thematically it's the best choice it's perfect. yeah it doesn't have any sort of um differentiated between at least on the bottle or in the packaging as to what sort of beer it is. It doesn't it doesn't yeah, introduce it's, itself as a as a red or uh, 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 it is uh, any other number of beer names that we traditionally look for. This is merely marketed as beer. Yeah, it's beer. So. And I, I kinda appreciate that. It, it's 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 a nice little yeah. little, little simplistic it's very, it's very elegant, um, as as usually comes from almost all of the European or uh, Pacific yeah. imports. Or Pacific, uh, the Atlantic imports are are usually very elegantly placed and yeah. delicate, er, elegantly marketed. Um, now uh, we went to our, uh, the local beer shop or liquor store that we go to, which is Cash Liquor and Cash Road Liquor. Yeah, Cash Road Liquors, and this is actually a brand new product on their shelf that we got pointed in the direction of. He specified another one of the products that he highly recommended from them. Yes, the rum aged. Yeah, uh, the, yeah. Expect to see that one in future episodes, probably not right away, because we like to put a little gap in between a company for a company, so that way we have some other stuff yeah. and people don't think we're going solely to boost one company or any other. Yeah. Um, but either way, this is, this is rec recommended by the uh, by the very knowledgeable staff up there. Um, and they have not led us astray in any way no. for their, their recommendations and solid, solid talk about they, small batches. And, um, and, you know, the limited run beers that they have, they have a really large selection. And we've been... So pleased that we completely stopped going anywhere else. Yeah, um, I mean, just as a normal consumer. I mean, hello is because of them we tried. Actually, we're willing to try the clown shoe and yeah. stopped and got the ten fifty and. Yeah. What was the other one we tried? I don't remember. He's he's pointed us to, to a lot of stuff. Yeah, yeah they have, They're they're so knowledgeable on, about the, the product. That, it seems like they're more beer orientated than liquor, but they 
have a wide liquor selection. Yeah, they do. They do. They have a, they have a gorgeous building. Uh, I mean, and we haven't even gone anywhere near the wine section, <laughs> which is gigantic. So uh, they obviously they, they really know what they're doing. Yeah, it's 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 brutally on obvious. But um, shall we get into? Yeah, let's issues? go ahead and get into this one. Nope. I can't get it my first try anymore, and I don't know why. I think I need to go back to practicing this. Maybe. Wow, that's... I was smelling that Centro from up here before I even got that close to my nose. Hmm. It smells almost like a Pilsner. It really does. It really does. I'm very curious to see what color it comes out of comes out of the bottle. I'll, by the way, as we're looking at it through the bottle, we can see through the bottles. So I we we know it's going to be on the lighter side. Um could you look at the side of the bottle and tell me what percentage this is? We didn't mention that. Oh yeah. Um it's actually only a, a six point six. Okay. Comes in a four pack. Uh, it's fairly um, actually it was very reasonably priced. Uh, yeah. comparison to some of the other ones that we have. So um, that is a unique color. That yes. is really not... It's got the gold edges of like the Pilsner, but the center has that light red of like a, a, a Killian's or something, yeah. some other... I... If I had a camera to do macro shooting, <laughs> I would definitely just sit down and try and do a photo shoot of this beer because of the, the unique colorations of it. If just wait till you get into the actual like drinking portion of it, please feel free. It's it's got some unique taste to it. Or at least unique to us. I it, mean someone someone who drinks something like this regularly will go, oh yeah, yeah that's that. But we're like <laughs> <laughs> this isn't our usual, so this is different. Hmm. Uh, I'm not afraid to drink it, but I'm a little apprehensive because the scents aren't sitting right on my palate for the normal. It smells like beer, but the wow, hmm. so much of that caramel malt, yeah. like a toffee. Um, there's, I like the sharp um, bite right there at the front. That's you know quickly just walks up and psh, beer. Yeah. It's got so much of the um, that. Um, crisp start the, the hops yeah. that uh, you find in ales. Really cold uh, like pilsners and, and just that yeah. kind of lightness to it, the airy, fresh wash over the palate and then it follows up with uh, a, a nicer blend of that uh, caramel, all without being any sort of syrupy that you normally associate with something that's going to have a, um, a fuller body tail to it. Yeah, still really close to a Pilsner in my opinion. I think my first assessment on the smell profile was pretty spot on for the flavor profile. You can, you can, you can drastically tell the difference between the American hop beer that we had, the IBA, last week, and the Strong, again, strongly hot. Oh yeah. Um, beer here, but it's a, a European or maybe British. It's it's a non-European hops. It's got it's still got a lot of that brightness to it, but it doesn't have the floral, grainy, or like citrusy edge that you find it so common with. Yeah, there's know, there's no citrus edge to it, which is a common thing in the U.S. It's actually really kind of refreshing because <laughs> we kept saying citrus in every episode, yeah, and like I was getting three, obnoxious. Yeah, three, three episodes along. Yeah, this is really great. I do appreciate it. Mm -hmm. um, um, I wish that Scottish ale that we did, the Angry Bastard. Yeah, the Angry Bastard Scottish ale. I wish that it had been soon, sooner back because. I don't remember its flavor profile enough to be able to compare against 
another thing. But that that being said, the Angry Bastard Scottish Ale is American. Brewed yes, it's versus a versus an actual cross pond Scottish. I'm thinking it's probably one to be going to be one of the better things to drink out of a bottle as opposed to out of a glass. This it didn't, it didn't air out as much as as normally did. It kept that really strong um, front. Hey, I'm beer yeah. catch all, but it yeah. has it has a much smoother. I don't taste a lot of the the profile towards the end as much. You know, I, I don't want to be like a pled because of it, but I can't really pull out anything indicative of oak. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not picking up a whole lot of oak flavorings either. There's a dry, tangy aftertaste that is like a few seconds after having a drink. I don't know. I don't know if that's what that particular thing is. I think if for glass choices, I may have done the wrong glass for this particular brew. Or, this is also another possibility, that it's just one of those drinks that's meant to be consumed out of the bottle. But it is absolutely elegant in a glass. Yeah! The, we, as we said earlier, it's got a really, really nice two-tone color to it that um, almost looks like a... Um, a uh, uh, black and tan. The the point where it mixes. Oh uh, yeah. The point yeah, where it yeah. mixes right there in the middle yeah. between the Guinness and the Newcastle, or, or between the Guinness and the whatever I put right here. Yeah, that color mixture mm -hmm. right there. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. That's that looks like all on its own. Yeah. That's, that's it's in this weird gray you know, area on the it's, flavor. It's program. got enough. It's got enough hops to the front that. I would, I would say, I would group it in, if I had to apply it, I would group it in with the ales that we normally, um, that we normally do. The coloring yeah. and the way that it feels puts it in the Pilsner category. Yeah. Um, and then, of course, it also has that tail end, that thick portion that is, um, caramel. Yeah. That, that caramel coffee. Find. Yeah, it's that you don't necessarily find in either one of those, unless they're special made. Yeah, yeah. So it's. I can see why they said. Yeah, it's beer. <laughs> we don't know it's, exactly where we're gonna put this on the mark, but it's a beer. All right. Our final out question number one: Would you buy this beer, and how far would you go to get it? Uh, yeah, I would definitely buy this beer. As, as we mentioned earlier, as just a simple all-nighter drinking beer. Price-wise, it makes it fairly convenient at our, our place, Cash Road Liquors, it's a new product, makes it a little, probably going to be a little harder to find anywhere else. I don't know though. I would probably not go out of my way because when I'm drinking I'm not looking for an easy drinking beverage usually. I usually, if I'm doing an easy drinking, either at a social event or going directly to the social event and I'm stopping along my way to that event. Alright, that's fair. Question number two. Would you use this beer as a tool to show off or differentiate your skill at tasting beers or your opinion of beers to a friend of drinker? Maybe, but I, I'm not huge on showing off a whole lot of stuff unless it's like a cool thing to have. You and a couple other people are going to taste beers. What three do you bring? Bring a red, bring a pilsner, bring a um, uh, shandy. I would probably bring it if they said bring a pilsner, just to throw everyone off. Right. Oh okay, yeah, yeah, I brought this great pilsner. It's the <laughs> shifty eyes, shifty eyes, so look around everywhere but make direct eye contact. All right. Question three: Would you bring this beer to a group setting, like hanging out with our friends, um, you know, as we used to do? And or would you sell this at your establishment? Uh, to a small group setting of friends, yeah, I would probably bring this one. If it's again not too far out of my way, because for easy drinkings, I'm not going to go out of my way to go and get something for easy drinking. Mm -hmm. Um, for selling an establishment, definitely I would sell it at an establishment, and I would put it right there in the pilsner section. 
with all my other classic Pilsner choices, and I would push this one just a little bit harder. Maybe okay. make the, the lines a little darker, a little bit more bold. Drink the good shit. Why does that bottle seem like it's on fire? Oh, it's just the lighting. <laughs> it's just the lighting. Here, try one. <laughs> since, you, since you asked about it, try one. That about wraps us up. So, good job, Ennis Gun Brewing Company out of Edinburgh. Absolutely. Really enjoyable. Yeah. And uh, cheers, folks. Cheers.